my name is Sean and this is a quick tutorial on how to use Flickr's advanced search features. I heard from a friend who was asking me how to find uh, content on Flickr that she could use, meaning it wasn't under copyright, all rights reserved. Uh, and she was having to click through a lot of stuff where that was the notation, all rights reserved, you can't use this, you can just look at it. How do I find the stuff I really want to find, which is the Creative Commons content? And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so here we are on Flickr's main page. You've logged in, you're looking for stuff, and of course there's the search field. So we'll type in clowns because uh, that's not creepy at all. And now when the uh, pictures come up, you also see there's an advanced search feature. And that's what we're actually looking for because, like my friend said, you just click on a random picture and chances are there you go, all rights reserved. So Django, uh, sorry buddy, and uh, Clown there. Also again, not creepy in the least. So what you want to do is click on advanced search. So we've got clowns and then I want none of these words, scary. I don't want any uh, that have a notation that they are scary because clowns are scary enough all by themselves. I don't want to look in everyone's uploads. What I want to do is look in the commons and then also, let's see, photos, videos, that's good. I have safe search on because that's how I roll. And then, uh, let's see, I'm going to go only photos because that's really what I actually want. I don't care when they were taken. And I'm going to click only search within Creative Commons licensed content. And that's really what you're going for. Now, these other two options are really, if you're planning to use it, in your logo or your brochure or you're going to use it in some way commercially or you want to use it as something that you're going to include in a larger work that you're doing. Find content to use commercially or find content to modify, adapt, or build upon. And if you're just going to post it to Facebook or you're looking for something to put on your website, something like that, um, you don't have to worry about that. So just click on only search within Creative Commons licensed content, hit search, and there we go. Now, out of all of Flickr, apparently there's only one picture of clowns that doesn't have the word scary in the notation somewhere. That seems really odd to me, but I don't know. And also, um, that's pretty creepy, so we might have a problem there. Uh, but it says no known copyright restrictions. So apparently the people who posted it assumed it was under the public domain because it's so old. And again, not creepy at all. Now, if we take out scary and do the search again, why lots and lots of clowns come up, none of whom are the least bit scary looking. Let's see, clown and girl, can we use that? Yes, we can. Some rights reserved. And if you click on that, it shows you the Creative Commons uh, license there for any purpose, even commercially. The licensor cannot revoke these freedoms as long as you follow the license terms. So this is one you could actually use any way you want to. You could use it in a movie, you could uh, put on a t-shirt, whatever you want to do. And uh, let's see, attribution, you must give appropriate credit, provide a link to the license, and indicate if changes were made. You may do so in any reasonable manner, but not in any way that suggests the license or endorses you or your use. Creative Commons has really streamlined their language over the last couple of years because the, the language can be really confusing and a bit intimidating. So really what it comes down to is that you want to put a link from the caption under the picture or somewhere else on your website if, if that doesn't work, uh, but put a, a clear link back to the person's uh, Flickr feed. And I will usually use their username, you know, so-and-so on Flickr, and that way you're giving them lots and lots of credit. And that's really about all you have to do. Uh, they're saying you need to link back to the Creative Commons license as well. Really, if you link back to the page, you're doing both because the person can then click through. So I find that the, the simplest. Just do a link back to the photo and that will satisfy the requirement for attribution. So that works out. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please consider subscribing to my channel, uh, Holly Park Media. I've got some uh, animation up. I'm planning on doing a lot more animation, uh, some comedy sketch kind of stuff, uh, maybe some more tutorials too. This is my first one, but uh, I'd sure appreciate you subscribing to Holly Park Media, and thanks for taking the time to watch this video.